This video lesson is on the powers of Congress. What are the four types of congressional power? The Constitution grants Congress a number of specific powers in four different ways. The first, we have express powers. They're granted to Congress explicitly in the Constitution. The second, we have implied powers. They're granted by reasonable deduction from the express powers. Third, the inherent powers are granted through the Constitution creation of a national government for the United States. And fourth, we have the non-legislative powers, their powers and responsibilities not related to passing laws. How does strict construction of the United States Constitution on the subject of congressional power compare to liberal construction? The argument over the Bank of the United States, loose construction, supported by Alexander Hamilton, Congress could do anything unless the Constitution said otherwise, the necessary and proper clause, strict construction, supported by Thomas Jefferson, Congress could only do what the Constitution specifically stated. What powers does Congress have to tax? Congress shall have the power to tax. What does it mean to tax? Taking public money for government use. Why is it important? Pays for many public services that serve and protect citizens, schools, roads, military, etc. Where does our money go? The federal government spends a single income tax dollar like this. Military and defense, health care, interest on the debt, income security, education, veterans benefits, nutrition, housing, natural resources, job training, and other. Types of taxes. We have tariffs, taxes levied against imported goods. What is the goal? To encourage the buying of American-made products, since foreign products will be more expensive. Direct taxes paid by the person they are levied against. Examples, the income tax. Indirect taxes paid by one person and passed to another. Examples, the sales tax. How important is Congress's commerce power? Congress shall have the power to regulate commerce. This means they can regulate foreign and interstate trade. This power is very vague. Example, setting a minimum wage. Limits, cannot tax exports, must treat all ports of entry equally. Why did the framers give Congress the power to issue currency? Congress shall have the power to coin money. The currency power includes Coining money, determining the types of currency to use and to make it, also termed legal tender. For bills present, for bills passed. The currency power also includes regulating its worth. How did a bill made out of a form of cloth come to have value for goods and services? In the past, they backed the bill's precious metals, silver, gold, platinum, thus giving it value. What does that mean? Basically, you could, in theory, trade it in for a certain amount of silver or gold. How does Congress use its power to borrow money? Congress has the power to borrow. Borrowing involves using money to finance projects that are not in the budget. There is no constitutional ceiling on how much can be borrowed. Borrowing leads to debt. United States National Debt Clock, the outstanding public debt as of August 10th, 2014 is well over $17 trillion. To understand the severity of the debt, we need to break down what a trillion is. 
How big is it? If you had gone into business on the day Jesus was born and your business lost a million dollars a day, day in and day out, 365 days a year, it would have taken you until October 2737 to lose a trillion dollars. Whose debt is it? It is owned by the federal government, but private citizens can buy some of the debt in the form of savings bonds and government bonds. Currently, many outside nations owe money to the United States that goes unpaid. Why can't we just print more money? Inflation. More supply lessens the value. Why is it so high? Most of the spending is a result of financing things not in the budget. Examples would be war. Interest on a large sum is extremely high. For each dollar of taxes, 19 cents goes to paying just the interest on the debt. The first president to start deficit spending was FDR. The last president to have a balanced budget was Bill Clinton. Raising the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling, the current cause of contentious debate, has been raised 39 times since 1980. A look at under whose watch it has been raised numbers of times between Republicans and Democrats. Current global public debt. Total debt as a percentage of GDP. How does the bankruptcy power work? Congress shall have form uniform laws concerning bankruptcy. What, when someone declares bankruptcy, they can't pay their debt. Congress has passed laws that protect both creditors and debtors. So what happens? The creditor is entitled to payment in some form. A person's assets will be seized and then sold. The money will be given to the creditors. The amount of debt owed by the debtor is wiped clean once the assets are seized. The problem. The debtor will have a hard time getting any loans or credit from any bank or business, making it hard to buy major things. What are the key sources of Congress's foreign relations powers? Foreign relations. Foreign policy. Approved treaties. War powers declare war, raise and maintain an army and navy, call up militias, the National Guard, restrict non-war use of troops. How does the power sharing agreement between Congress and the President on the issues of war and national defense work? Congress versus the President, who has the war powers? The War Powers Resolution of 1973. The president can send troops overseas without a formal declaration of war if notification to Congress within 48 hours, withdraw troops after 60 days with a 30-day extension, consult Congress if engaged in combat, the role of Congress, Congress can pass resolutions to withdraw troops, Congress also has the power to restrict the use American forces and combat areas where a state of war does not exist. What other key powers can Congress exercise? Congress will establish a uniform rule of naturalization. Naturalization, process of becoming a United States citizen. Natural born, born in the U.S. territory or on U.S. owned property or to a U.S. citizen. Naturalize citizenship gained from another country. The basic process. Must live in the U.S. for five years. Must be 18 years of age. Must speak basic English. Must pass a basic civics exam. Must pledge an oath of loyalty to the United States. Cannot have a criminal record. Expatriation. Citizenship can be revoked only for naturalized citizens. Some sample test questions for you to look at.
Congress has the power to establish post offices and post roads, meaning they set up post offices, over 39,000 today, and establish routes, including airways, railroads, and waterways. They also determine what can be legally carried in the mail and crimes related to the mail. All mail crimes are federal crimes. Example, tampering with mail, use, using mail to commit fraud and damaging federal mailboxes. Congress shall promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing exclusive rights to their respective writings and discoveries. Copyright. Exclusive right to an author for the publication and resale of their work. Length. Good for life plus 70 years. Patent. Exclusive right to a person to manufacture, use, or sell any new invention. Length, 20 years. Intellectual property covered. Books, magazines, paintings, movies, design patents, photos, trademarks, trade secrets, etc. Here are some examples. Congress can fix the standard weights and measures. Allows for an accurate uniform gauge of time, distance, area, weight, volume, etc. We use the English system. Example, pounds, miles, inches, ounces, gallons, etc. Congress has the power to acquire, manage, and dispose of various federal areas. What do they oversee? Territories, Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Naval bases, Guantanamo Bay. National parks, federal prisons, embassies. How do they acquire territory? Purchase or gift. An example would be the Louisiana Purchase. Eminent domain, taking private property for public use in exchange for fair market value of the property. War, from another country, in a treaty. Judicial powers, create all courts below the Supreme Court. Define federal crimes and punishments. Impeachment and removal of government officials. What key developments have occurred in the battle over the implied powers of Congress? McCulloch vs. Maryland argued February 22, 1819, decided March 6, 1819, facts of the case. In 1816, Congress chartered the Second Bank of the United States. In 1818, the state of Maryland passed legislation to impose taxes on the bank. James McCulloch, the cashier of the Baltimore branch of the bank, refused to pay this tax. The power to tax involves the power to destroy. In McCulloch v. Maryland, the Supreme Court ruled that a state cannot take measure that would destroy the Union, so Maryland's tax on the Baltimore branch of the Bank of the United States was unconstitutional. This established the principle that the national government is dominant. How does the Necessary and Proper Clause give Congress flexibility in lawmaking? These are referred to as the implied powers of Congress. The Elastic Clause. Congress can do what is necessary and proper for the welfare of the nation. Congress has to relate their actions to one of the express powers. Example, setting a minimum wage comes from the power to regulate commerce. Example, establishing a military draft comes from the power to raise and maintain an army. More examples of the implied powers. The express power to borrow money implies the power to establish the Federal Reserve System of Banks. The express power to lay and collect taxes implies the power to punish tax evaders, to regulate the license, the sale of some commodities such as alcohol, and outlaw the use of others such as narcotics, and to require states to meet certain conditions to qualify for federal funding. The express power to raise armies and a navy implies the power to draft Americans into the military. The express power to regulate commerce implies 
the power to establish a minimum wage, to ban discrimination in the workplaces, to pass laws protecting the disabled, and to regulate banking. The express power to establish naturalization laws implies the power to regulate and limit immigration. And the express power to establish post offices implies the power to prohibit mail fraud and the obstruction of, of the mail and to bar the shipping of certain items through the mail. What are the inherent powers of Congress? These are powers that sovereign nations normally have. Regulating immigration and protecting the borders are some examples. What are the non-legislative powers of Congress? Electoral powers, such as presidential elections. If no candidate has a majority of the electoral vote, the House elects the president and the Senate elects the vice president. The 25th Amendment, if a vacancy exists in the vice presidency, the Congress will approve the new nomination. Constitutional Amendments Congress proposes changes to the Constitution with a two-thirds vote in both houses. Impeachment Process Removing the President, Vice President, and all civil officers of the federal government. Impeach, bringing charges against, done by the House of Representatives with a majority vote. Conviction, innocent or guilt, done by the Senate with two-thirds vote. Executive powers of the Senate, approve presidential appointments, majority vote. Approve treaties by two-thirds of a vote. Investigations. Gather info for making laws. Review effectiveness of laws. Find if programs are being run properly. 